one. Big one. About 17 pounds of fish in an hour. Oh, God. as well, but... Hey all, so I'm heading to a little pond by my house right now, and the plan is to throw around some of the new top water lures I got from Strike King. Got a couple different color sexy frogs in, and these new Strike King super toads. Ooh, that lighting is awesome. Uh, I wanna try out these new Strike King super toads that I got in in white and black, and I don't know, I just really wanna get on a top water bite. I haven't gotten a good frog bite this whole summer yet. I mean, I've caught a couple fish on a frog, but nothing really great, so. We're gonna try a couple ponds with some flooded grass. It's rained a ton in Arkansas over the past like month, and so there should be a lot of fish up shallow eating. And so uh, hopefully we can catch some big fish on the frog, get some cool blow up shots. That's kind of the plan. Hopefully we'll catch some fish, get some good blow ups. We'll see you there. Big one. Get over here. Oh yes. Look at that one right there. Woo! So, I uh, got my frog fish. Probably a solid four pounder. Um, caught that on the, he ate that frog. Look how he ate that too. He just got all of it. Let me show you guys on the GoPro too. He really ate that thing. And just threw that uh, Strike King sexy frog on the edge of that grass. And wow, he ate it. He really ate it. That's awesome. That's a really good fish. Um, all right, let me go grab the scales real quick and we're gonna weigh this guy. So right there guys, uh, 3.81 is what I think I saw. Big item a tiny bit, but close to four pounds. Nice fish, gonna let this guy go. Just gonna let him go in this grass here. Okay. I think he's just a little bit shocked, but he's gone now. Oh no, look at my pants. What in the world happened to me? Anyways, fish is gone. He got released. I kind of plopped him in there a little bit, but that's good. He's gone. Wow. Yeah, so I got that fish. Got him on that Strike King sexy frog. Let's catch another one. Wow. Look at your heart going. I hope I'm not big enough, big eyeing all these fish that I've been catching, but close to four pounds at least. That's all that really matters is we're close, right? Got another one. Same exact spot. Literally the exact same spot as that last one. These fish are really muddy. I think that's my, these guys are like covered in mud. What's going on? They must be up shallow. It's another solid fish. That was literally the next cast after I caught that fish. Uh, probably pound and three quarter. Let me weigh them. I wanna make sure I'm not like misjudging all these fish. I haven't fished in like two years guys, so bear with me if I'm kind of big eyeing some of these guys. So a pound and a half, so I'm about, I'm probably about a half a, or a quarter of a pound off of what I should be guessing them. But, put him back, still a really nice fish. So I got this scale so that I wasn't big eyeing all these bass on y'all. I guess I just wipe my hands on my pants considering I'm covered in mud. But anyways, um, hope y'all can see me, I'm gonna turn Okay, now you can see me a little better. That was two casts in a row, two pretty good fish on that frog, awesome strike, so let's get another one. Okay, let's get some more bites. The last fish over to the Strike King Sexy Frog, I was able to kind of keep it on the edge of this grass a little bit easier. It's hard to parallel some of this grass we're fishing today. 
So I'm glad I switched over to the sexy frog. I'm able to kind of just stop it on the edge of that grass and work it slowly back and forth. And that's what these fish are wanting right now. A lot of times when I'm fishing that ribbit type frog, the striking super toad style frog, I want to get a um, parallel cast to this grass and kind of work it along the grass where when I'm having to cast straight on the grass like this, I prefer something like this sexy frog. It has a little bit more buoyancy. But dude, that was crazy. I made two casts, the, literally the exact same spot right there. Caught three and three quarter and a pound and a half were just right there and they both just destroyed it. There's a little group of them right here on this little stretch of grass for whatever reason. Oh, another good one. This might be the biggest one yet, guys. Maybe not. Maybe. Yes. Look at that. Woo! Oh my god. That grass off of them. They're just destroying it right now. I don't know what to say. Like, this is this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Look at that again. Get this guy unhooked. He choked it. Again, that striking sexy frog. Let me get a weight on this guy. This is insane. Didn't know this was such a good pond. I'd say it's a three and three quarter again. Maybe, maybe. 3.61, it's a good one. Another three and a half pounder there. Just a really healthy fish. So guys, 361. Right now that's uh, seven pounds, almost eight pounds between the two of these big guys and that pound and a half. So we're looking at close to nine pounds for three fish so far. Put that big guy back in the lake. Let's go again. Oh my Lord. You have to catch a limit right here, guys. This is insane. Oh, I'm glad I brought that scale. I'm like, I'm still like half of, I'm still a quarter of a pound off on all my estimations. I need to, uh, start guessing my fish correctly right here on the edge of this grass they're just <sighs> y'all can see the strikes they're so good they're so good Another good one. Ah, dear. This is insane. This is great. There's like a two and a half pound here, I'd say. There you go. Oh, wow. Oof. Again, just choking that striking sexy frog right there, boys. Let me uh, take this out. Let's get a weight on this one. This is a good day to judge my fish estimating skills. Let me grab pliers to get this guy up. He ate that so well, I need to get pliers. Again, he was in that exact same little stretch. I, mean, I haven't made, I haven't moved 10 feet as far as casting locations and caught three super nice fish. Here we go. Can grab the scale. 2.5, 2.49. Two point four nine. So, getting better for moving along these fish. Not big enough in them as much, but nice. I'm gonna let this guy go over here. Not disturb these fish, guys. I'm like shaking so hard right now, so hard. Oh, okay. okay. Drop that scale. Get this frog. This frog is destroyed, but it's still working. Oh. That was awesome once again. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not doing a lot of instruction right now, guys. I'm just tweaked out of my gourd. They're biting this frog. Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh, he didn't get it as well, but... Woo! <laughs> oh my god. This is so insane. He still ate that frog so well. Look at that one. That's like another... Uh, it's like a... The three seven. He's bleeding a little bit, guys. Got him in there. He'll put a little bit. Let's get a quick weight on him. And then we'll... Let him back in the water. So you're three eight three eight one. We'll go with three eight one again. Sick fish. Let's get him back in the water before he. He's good, guys. He just just caught him on a little tender spot, but he'll be fine. GoPro battery died. I'm running back. Gotta get to those fish. Whew. Okay, we're back. The scene of the crime. GoPro battery died. Just in time. Just after release that fish. Guys, like. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just freaking out. This pond is just insane. I have no, I had no idea there were this many big fish in this pond. I caught one, in hindsight, probably like a four and a half pounder. I said a five pounder in my video on a swim jig, but probably four and a half pounder, considering how bad I'm a big guy in them. And uh, caught some two and a half pounders. Nothing crazy out of this pond, just some decent fish. And uh, came back today. And I have my best five right now go a three and a half, two three eighties, a two and a half, and a one and a half. Let me put the weight up on the screen for you. It's my biggest five fish so far. You need to claw out those two little guys. I'm going to do it real quick real here, right here. Get up to about 17 pounds of fish in an hour would be... Oh, God! Those two little guys. I'm gonna do it with right here. Get up to about 17 pounds of fish in an hour. Oh, God. Okay, that's a call right there. Oh, golly. Um, I think I got. I think I got the shot on the big camera on that one too. I'll play that if I did. It's another two and three quarter probably. Let's weigh him up. Probably 260. 260. 275, two and three quarter. Okay, so two and three quarter on the frog. There, there, there's so many fish right there, guys. You have no idea, there's so many fish right there. That's my sixth good fish right there. This frog is, I, I only have one of these frogs. I didn't bring this many frogs. I brought one of these frogs with me. It's gotta hold out. I gotta, I gotta call those two and a half pounders now. Smallest fish is two and a half pounds. Limit on a pond. Are you serious? Guys, I am, so shaking right now. Ah, I don't know how to describe this. Okay, so instruction. Use a 65 pound braided line on this frog. Seven foot medium heavy action rod with a pretty fast tip so I can work that frog back and forth. Technique for getting the bait in the grass right now is to actually cast it as far up in the grass as you can, like way back up in the trees, and then just kind of slowly work it out to the edge. That keeps it nice and quiet and it doesn't spook all those fish that are cruising that grass line. And then you just work that frog back and forth. The way to walk a topwater frog like this is you work it just like you would a Zara spook. You cast it out, reel it in, and you just have some little bit of slack in your line and you pop the slack in that line. And it's important to have slack like I have there in the line and you just work that slack line and that'll move the bait back and forth in the water. It takes a little bit of practice but I mean you'll pick it up easily. Another great thing is the striking sexy frog walks super well and I showed you earlier how I trimmed up that frog. I left one leg a little bit longer than the other. That promotes more of a side to side action and trimming one and trimming the legs down just a little bit like cutting them in half also promotes it to walk a little bit better. And this is a stump jumper color in this frog. It's my favorite frog color. And you can see they're just destroying it. So I let that area 
sit here for just a second. And then I started throwing back in there and caught three in a row again. So I might have to like let him calm down, reposition, and I might just make some casts like over here. I'm, I'm not moving, I'm not leaving. That would be crazy. Never leave fish to find fish, folks. Lesson right there. I mean, I caught, you would think, okay, I caught one fish out of this little grass stretch. There wouldn't be any more there. And then I catch seven right from a little, just where that little bush is, that little bush area, just that grass right in front of that bush. That's where I've got all those strikes, every one of them. And for whatever reason, there's a little bit different grass right there. That could be part of the reason. There's like a, a change from just this, this kind of grass right here, whatever this is. And then there's like a little bit more stringy, wispy grass, like this stuff, like changes from this grass to this grass. That made no sense, but you guys know what I mean. And that little change in the grass probably is what's keeping those fish there. Probably what's positioning them up on the edge. And I don't know, there's just a little point in that grass, like right there, there's just a little point. And that's where a lot of those fish have come coming from is right where that point is. There could be a little bit shallower water, a little bit harder bottom right there, something that's holding those fish in that little spot. Something about frog fishing, fishing guys, it just gets you so excited or at least me excited. If y'all haven't caught a fish on a frog, bind a pond, get some 65 pound braided line, grab a straight kick sexy frog, and catch giants like that. Oh my God. That's a freaking good one again. I'm trying to hide it from all these locals. I don't want them coming here and poaching these fish. He choked it once again same spot no reason to move that's a four pounder that's got to be a four pounder here we go guys another just absolute stud there's a big spider right there Ooh. anyways that's a stud guys gotta grab the scale it's got to be a four pounder right why it's probably three 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 eight one again probably just Big eye on all these fish. I feel like that's a four pounder. It's gotta be. Okay, here we go. Three nine four. You'll give it to me, right? Three nine four. That's a four pounder, right? Three nine four. You gotta give it to me. I got pretty close. It's a four pounder. It's another sweet fish. What's my total right now? Somebody in the comments needs to be keeping a total and a tally of these fish because I've caught so many. And I don't know what my final weight is right now. I'll add it up. It's going to be right here. The weight is right here, guys. I'm getting this camera in the shots. I don't even care right now. Like, I, I'm so excited right now. I don't care. Ruin the illusion there's a camera. I don't know. So excited. Strike King Sexy Frog. So yeah, go down to your local tackle shop. Buy yourself a Strike King Stump Tripper Frog. You might not catch fish as well as I did today in these ponds, but if you hit enough ponds and throw the frog enough, you probably will get in some big fish like I did today. So hope you all enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.